All right, Madeline, you're the folly, and you're here in the Doro. How do you think? What do you think? Well, I'm Madeline. I'm, I run a website in Seattle, Washington, called Wine Folly, and we had the opportunity to come out to the Doro because of Catavino. I never thought in a million years, I guess I thought maybe in at least 10, I'd have an opportunity to come out here, but not at this level. The experience has been incredible. We've been staying in people's houses and actually walking around the vineyards and being with the people who make the wines, the famous wines and the, the unknown about wines of the Douro. What's the biggest surprise? The biggest surprise is, as a vegetarian Somali, I've been well fed. <laughs> that is a surprise. I've been very well fed. We worked hard at that. Yeah. So, it's about the cereal bars, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's not because of the cereal bars, no. no, no. They got some good food though, no? They have they have amazing food here. They have very fine, fresh vegetables, which is what you never hear about when you hear about Portugal. And as much as I like Porto, I like the small towns in the Douro much more. If I was touristing around this area, I would come straight to the Douro and try to make friends. Yeah? yeah. What's, what's one thing you learned that you didn't know before about the wine? Uh, mainly surprised about how the... The history and the terracing. I mean, I'm a wine geek, so I freak out about terraces and those and, are big terraces. And <laughs> those things over there, and uh, the sort of the history with the families feels very um, it's, uh, almost mob-like. It's kind of crazy. And then also the field blends and how these old vineyards all have different grapes and nobody really knows what they are. For someone like me, a wine geek, who's like, what's this leaf and what does this mean? It's surprising to know that it doesn't really matter to make really good wine you just have to be in the right place and do the right processes and from going from a completely industrial place to a very small place everything is different if you just throw the grapes together and somehow ferment them you're going to come out with a good product and what, what do you think of schist i love schist <laughs> it's delicious it's schisty she has schist on her breakfast cereal <laughs> <laughs> thank you madeline